everybody, welcome back to Truly Outrageous. I'm Neil. I want to tell you a little bit about what's been going on in my family. We went out to the pet store the other day and we bought two new teddy bear hamsters by the name of Teddy and Oreo, who I like to call Doc because he's got crazy white hair like Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Here's Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Here's Doc, or Oreo, as my son likes to call him. Hello. But anyway, it gave me the idea like, hey, let's do a drawing of a hamster. So that's what we're gonna do today. But before we do that, as all you know, our big goal here is to teach as many people as we possibly can to draw. The way we know we're doing that is by the amount of subscribers that we have. Our goal for this month, February, is to reach 1,200 subscribers by the end of the month. So get the word out. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your teachers, whoever, tell the guy on the street. Go to Truly Outrageous, draw, have fun. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's get into drawing a hamster. All right, let's go ahead and get started. A little piece of dust on my paper there. Get rid of that. So for this drawing, you're gonna need a piece of paper. You're gonna need your drawing utensil. I'm using a marker. Feel free to use pencils, ballpoint pens, or whatever you're most comfortable with if you don't wanna use marker. All right, and then on this side, I have the color palette that I'm gonna be using for our coloring step. If you don't like these colors, feel free to choose your own. You know, make it fun. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the hamster's head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a circle, but we're gonna leave the top part of it open. So that looks a little like this. Try and get those as even as possible. I know that can be hard sometimes, but that's just kind of the shape of his head there. Because our hamster is fuzzy, we're gonna put some fuzz on his head. And so those are just a couple of wavy lines, kind of like shark fins. We're gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, like that. And it doesn't have to match mine perfectly. Um, as a matter of fact, it probably looks better in your own style. We just wanna indicate that fuzz. So let's slap on some ears, because he wants to hear really well. So those are gonna be two upside down U shapes. Like that. Same thing on this side, upside down U shape. Like that. And then we're gonna indicate a little bit of the other edge of the ear. And we're just gonna draw a simple curved line sort of mirroring the one right next to it. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna draw that curved line mirroring the one right next to it. All right, next step is probably the easiest step. We're gonna draw his eyes. So they're just two lines, one here and one there. And then we'll give him some eyebrows. And that'll be one line right here. And another line here. Next we'll do his nose. So his nose is kind of an upside down triangle with a curved, with curved sides on both sides. Um, so it goes a little something like this. And draw that across like that. A curve in like that. Curve in like that. And then it's got kind of a flat bottom. So maybe not a triangle, but more of a... What is that? A rhombus? No, it's a trapezoid. I think I got that right. <laughs> Next we'll move on to his mouth, which is kind of two curved lines going opposite directions of each other. So the way that we do that is we'll draw a curved line like this and another curved line like that. Then we're gonna put a little bit of a opening because we get to see his teeth. We'll do like just kind of a little U shape like that. And then right down the center, separation in his teeth. And then we'll add some smile lines. Real simple, just a line like that line like that. Next we're going to draw his arms. So that's going to start about right here on the body, right here, and right here. So we're going to pull a line off, go out and around, over, and stop right there. Same thing on this side, we're going to go down, Over, like that. 
And we'll give them some indication of fingers. So that'll be one, two, three. Same thing on this side. One, two, three. And then we're going to draw a cracker because that's what he's been eating. So the way that I like to draw the outside of my cracker is with just some squiggly lines. The outside of a cracker is very squiggly. It's rough. And then we're gonna put in some bites. So one, two, three, four bites. Well, four teeth marks, not bites. And we'll just carry that wiggly line across. And then we're gonna carry that wiggly, wiggly line down underneath the arm there. Just draw that through. Same thing on this side. Just draw that through. And then a squiggly line over. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. All the way over. And then to accent it, to make it look even more like a cracker, we're gonna put the little holes that are in the cracker. I don't know what those are for. If anybody knows what those are for, put them in the comments. I'm interested as to what they're used for in cracker making. So circle there. Circle here. Circle here, circle here, and guess what? A circle here. Next we're going to draw his body, and since our hamster is fuzzy up here, we're going to make his body fuzzy too. So that is going to come down, we're just going to do kind of the same design here, some shark fin designs all the way down. So it's going to come out and around like this, like this, like this, all the way down stuff right there. Same thing on this side, you're going to draw down, and then we're going to up, and then down, up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and up, and guess what, down, and up. Then we'll put on some feet, one foot, so just an upside down U shape like that. Same thing on this side. Upside down U shape. I think a little tiny feet. We'll cap that off with some wavy lines because that'll indicate the hair that's kind of on the back side there. Wavy lines. And then we'll cap off the feet with some more U shapes. One. And two. We'll give him some toes. Same thing as the hands. One, two, three. And since Teddy's got some white spots under his belly, or on his belly, I should say, uh, we're gonna draw that in here too. And that's just kind of mirroring these uh, wavy lines on the outside. So we're just gonna come down, real nice and easy. We'll stop there. Same thing on this side, we're gonna just bring those down. That. And then a little bit up here, so we'll connect it to this arm here. And that's going to come down from here like this. Same thing over here. Just put the shark fin uh, lines right there. And we'll leave this open um, because the hair that he has on his tummy is going to blend in with the rest of his fur. All right, and there you have your line work done for your hamster. <laughs> Now we're gonna move on to the coloring step, and just like the hamster on the wheel, I'm gonna do that in super fast speed, starting now. All right, there you have it, your fully colored hamster. I hope you guys had a lot of fun doing this one. I know I did. It reminds me of our hamster that we just got. Anyway, uh, don't forget to go down below and subscribe to our channel, help support us. Go ahead and slap that bell so you're getting our latest content. And be sure to tell all your friends about us, every single one of them, even the ones you don't like. Tell them about Truly Our Rays. All right, and don't forget, go into our library of videos if you want to learn more things to draw. 
Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.